Hey everyone, I hope you're having a good night. As I was rocking Luke to sleep tonight, this phrase came into my head and it stayed on my heart, so I thought I'd share it with you. And the phrase goes like this, nothing seems to stay the same. Which gets me thinking, the world is changing, our lives are changing, our age changes, our relationships change, our friendships change, everything changes. In fact, just today, I was playing with Luke and I put him in his jungle gym, which he loves so much. And for weeks now, he's been staring at this one toy. And for some reason, it's mesmerizing to him. And it comes from the popular series, Baby Einsteins, and here is his toy. So it is an airplane and he just loves the colors and looks at it so much. And all of a sudden I turn my head and there's Luke and he's smacking the airplane toy with his hands. So I kind of said to him, wait, since when did you start to grab and smack toys? You were just supposed to look at it. And then tonight I go to give Luke a bath, which he loves so much. And he starts using his hands to play with the water. What? No, you aren't supposed to change. Everything has been the same for weeks now. But I guess you're growing, you're changing, you're learning every day, whether I see it or not. So it got me thinking about this. In Malachi chapter three, which is the last book of the Old Testament, verses six and seven say, I the Lord do not change. So you, the descendants of Jacob, are not destroyed. Ever since the time of your ancestors, you have turned away from my decrees and have not kept them. Return to me and I will return to you, says the Lord Almighty. God doesn't change. His love and his promises endure forever. He is our rock. He is our refuge and he's not changing people. Now, I would be lying to you if I said that my faith has been super consistent this whole time during the coronavirus journey. <laughs> I wish I can say that, but that isn't the truth at all. And as your youth group leader, I'm gonna be honest with all of you. There have been days where I've cried out to the Lord and said, why is this happening? There have been days that I have relied on my own knowledge to seek answers. There have been days that have been perfect. There have been days that have been terrible. And there are days that I wanted to end so bad and days that I didn't want to end. But guess what? Change happens, time goes on, we move on, and before we know it, this too shall pass. And then yesterday, when I heard that we are finally in phase one and we are reopening on Long Island, I got really excited and I said, yes, this is so great. We are trying to get back to a normal. But then I said to myself, wait, we're at phase one already? I have so much to do that I haven't even gotten done in quarantine and there's so much to get done already. Our minds change, our lives change, but God doesn't. Embrace that change. Don't be afraid to live life, not in fear, but in faith, knowing that God will always be there and never change. A popular hymn called I Am Forever Who I Am has, been, has these beautiful lyrics that say, I am forever who I am, above you, beneath you, around you, and within you. Be still and know that I am God. I love that. We need to stop relying on our own knowledge that we know what is best and that we know how to deal with all of these things, but we don't. And that's where Proverbs chapter three comes in. It says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Give it to God, everyone. Let your joy, your anger, your fear, your frustration, your sadness resonate with God. He can handle it, trust me. You all continue to be in my prayers every single day and I can't wait to see you again in person. Thank you to all who attended our Zoom for Senior High last night. Um, I really got a lot of laughs that I really needed. And we continue to meet every single Wednesday night. And last night we played Kahoot Trivia, which we had so much fun with. And a big congratulations to Max and to Michaela for winning. 
And I must say, and I know Anne is going to laugh at this, um, I did win at Disney Trivia. So if anyone is willing to challenge me, I am up for the challenge for sure. Let's do it. Um, have a great night. I miss you. I love you. And God bless.